hello hello welcome back to my channel my name is megan if you're new around here thank you so much for watching and if you're not new welcome back um it's been well it hasn't been a minute for you because i um film ahead and upload and um but it's been a minute for me because i haven't vlogged in a little bit i am officially a mrs I'm married. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Schnarr now. Um, yeah, so the last vlog, which I hope I still haven't edited yet, is going to be the wedding. I didn't take like too much footage, um, but I'm hoping by the time this is up, I'll at least have like photos to share within it. But I had like all the footage leading up to the wedding, and then at the wedding itself, I don't know what there is out there, so I have to see about that. But we had our wedding, and I feel like I have so much to update you on, but it has been such a whirlwind. We have gone through the whole pandemic with not getting sick. We, like not even a cold, like we've never got sick. We've been so fortunate. Our family's been so fortunate and we've been planning this wedding now for a year and a half. It's actually, it was actually at my parents' house, which is like where I'm living right now. Um, as you guys know, we've been having like the summer renovations, like prepping. Because it was a backyard wedding, we did everything ourselves. So it was very much like DIY in the sense that we had to hire like every vendor. Having a backyard wedding, you have to order everything. So you have to order like your plates, like your cutlery, your napkins, your garbages, the washrooms. Um, services to clean up like all this stuff right so we had to do everything ourselves versus like if you were to go to a venue and most of the time they have those things taken care of right you don't have to kind of think of the small details so anyways we've been doing that for months and months and months now and right before the wedding like literally um well i guess like two weeks it started but we got sick with the C word. <laughs> and my sister got it first. She works in the public, so um, we're thinking like that's how she would have gotten it. Um, and then, yeah, and then Daniel got it and then I got it. So we were all like down and out. And luckily I was the best out of everyone. I didn't have too many symptoms. I just had congestion, which I still feel like and maybe it doesn't sound like it for you guys, but in my ears, in my head, I still feel like I sound different, even though I'm totally fine. Um, so yeah, we all got it. Um, we are all healthy. We were healthy and got better before the wedding, but it was just crazy because that time before the wedding is very much like crunch time where everything comes together and we were all sick. So Thankfully, I am a very type A organized person, so everything was pretty much taken care of at that point, but it was so stressful to be sick and just like making sure that we were healthy and safe for the wedding, which we all were. Um, we got the green light and everything to have the wedding, so that's totally okay. But we had the wedding. It was truly the best day of my life. There were moments leading up to the wedding because it is a lot planning and it can be like very stressful that we had these moments where we were like, can't wait till this is like all over with because it consumed like so much time. And I would get like frustrated with myself for thinking that way because it's like, you want it to be this best day and I don't want to like go into it with like, I don't know, a stressful mindset. But it's funny like getting sick and then just knowing that I had to just take a step back from everything it kind of allowed me to go into it very like relaxed and I was just like ready and a lot of people told me before they get married the week before there's two types of people there's the type of people who weren't necessarily organized so they are like very frazzled and then there's the type of people who were very organized and they're just like so relaxed and excited and that was definitely me like leading up to the wedding the days before, I was just ready. Like I was so excited to marry Daniel. I was so excited to celebrate with our friends and our family. We had a very intimate wedding. We had 64 people. It was in our backyard um, from the ceremony to the reception. So it was a very intimate space. Um, I'll try and insert some clips or I will insert um, the video from the actual wedding to watch so you guys can kind of get the vibe but the vision for the wedding was to have like picture yourself in Europe 
in the streets of Europe with your closest friends and family. You're drinking like wine out of goblets. You're eating very like fresh Mediterranean food. You're surrounded by lights. You're surrounded by greenery. You're surrounded by good music. And you're just like having like that joie de vivre vibe. Um, and that was very much the vibe for the wedding. And oh my God, it was incredible. It was truly the best day of my life, like from start to finish. I was not stressed at all, not one single time. I, it was such a like easygoing day. Everything flowed so perfectly. We had the most incredible weather. It was beautiful, sunny, um, warm. Like it was just perfect. Um, I loved getting to wear my dress. I loved my makeup. Like I loved everything. I have zero complaints still to this day, which is now two like today is Friday um, so tomorrow will be two weeks since the wedding and we literally talk about it every day all of our friends message us like saying like it was such a like backyard banger like we danced all night long it was just amazing so yeah if you're in interested in doing like something different than the traditional like venue um, I would highly recommend a backyard or like an outdoor space if you have it available to you I will say it definitely is like more work because um, you have to do everything yourself although like you could technically hire like a full service um, planner and they would take care of everything for you um it just wasn't in our budget we had a very low budget for our wedding so yeah and it that's the other part too is that you can save a lot of money like doing it yourself for a, versus a venue but um yeah let me know if you guys want like a cost breakdown of like the wedding because i have everything in a spreadsheet and everything so i'm happy to go over it if that interests you guys i didn't end up watching any um wedding related youtube i thought i would i thought i would like jump on everyone's like series but i just had such a vision for the wedding day that i did everything myself so if you guys want that let me know i'm happy to create a video for that um but yeah the wedding is over and right after the wedding which was on a Saturday we had brunch the next morning and then basically like Sunday afternoon and Monday was like our cleanup day like all the vendors came back to pick up everything we had to like get the backyard back in order like all of the things because obviously life was like in shambles there for a week and yeah so then the Tuesday we actually had to go to Daniel's parents house because they were flying to Newfoundland and we're babysitting their dog so then we like pack a suitcase again and now we're staying at their house and I didn't vlog because I just felt like the last like week and a bit has just been like getting back in a routine getting back in order like following up on a lot of things catching up with work because I was also sick before the wedding um, which I hadn't planned for in terms of being off and now I just like finally feel like this week this past week was like really good i was like back in my routine um doing all the things so now it is friday today i am back at my parents house my mom already flew back to vancouver to be with my dad they live there um and so it's just in this house which is technically like my childhood home is um my sisters daniel and i and then the two dogs and if you're new here we lived in Victoria, British Columbia for a year. And so we had gotten rid of our place that we lived in, moved to Victoria for a year, and then drove back essentially for the wedding. And um, we've just been living at my parents' house instead of renting something because we don't know like our next plans of like where we wanna live. We think we wanna go back to the West Coast, but we'll say that for another video. Anyway, so yeah, we are back here. I am going to be starting a little weekend vlog. So today is Friday. I got up early this morning. I actually met up with a friend for coffee. And then I went to Costco, which I'll insert the clip um, of like the Costco grocery haul and like wh what I'm doing now, like after this. I just had an intro of this vlog yet. So I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys. So that will come in a second. And then I came home, put everything away got organized and then um now i'm gonna do some work daniel and i are gonna have a little date tonight we're gonna go out for dinner and then um we don't know what we're gonna do we thought about going to like a movie our friend is a musician and he's playing some music downtown so we thought maybe we would do that i don't know so we'll see i'll take you along for whatever we decide and then tomorrow i'm going to 
my friend Kelly's house with my other friend Megan. So Megan was in my wedding party and Kelly was also at our wedding and she has a pool. So we're gonna have like a little pool day. Um, Sunday, Daniel and I are planning to do a little day trip somewhere. Um, we're not sure where yet, but we want to like have a little day adventure. And then Monday, we have Daniel's brother's birthday, um, but that's just from like three to five, so nothing too crazy. It's also the September long weekend. It's Labor Day weekend, so long weekend over here. And yeah, so that's the plan. I just wanted to like intro this vlog because I hadn't yet, and um, I'm getting going with the day. So welcome back, and it's so good to be vlogging again. I'm so happy, and I can't believe I'm married. <laughs> and yeah so this is like going to be very much like a fun little weekend vlog but then going forward i'm like so excited to just like be back in routine be settled in one place um yeah i feel like we've got some fun stuff going on so anyways let's get into the vlog like i said the next clip here is going to be the little costco haul that i did and then you'll be back in the present moment with me <laughs> Okay, quick little Costco haul. I didn't get too many things, but I just got two 12 packs of eggs. These Stacy's um, Simply Naked chips are really good for like a dip. Um, but the grocery store sells like the smallest pack, so Costco's the way to go. Um, this is Daniel's favorite popcorn, the Skinny Pop. This is also Daniel's favorite snack, like the coconut clusters. I also got these Lole... Um, track pants i get them all the time they don't like wash the best like over time but they um are the comfiest track pant and they're so um affordable got a pack of some avocados and then also got some organic chicken breast got peaches i think this is kind of the last of them in season so take advantage of the ontario peaches and then just got some um pepperoni what are these called Pepperettes. <laughs> but yeah, so very small Costco haul, but just like some good stuff for the week. We have tons of like peppers and um, like cooking things. We just wanted like snacks and some staples like the chicken and the eggs and stuff like that. So that is a very mini Costco haul. But I'm gonna go put this stuff away. stunning flowers from a friend of mine for our wedding and just put them in a vase they're so nice cute okay these are the track pants that i talked about i got a large just was like i like them baggy and i honestly do find they like shrink a bit in the wash um so i think this is a good size for me but they are honestly just like so comfy so soft and they're just like a good staple especially like going into the fall who doesn't like more track bands the dogs are reunited Also, it's crazy to believe that a wedding took place back here. Yeah, hello. Hi. Okay, Daniel is back. It's later now. I've just been doing some work. I actually edited a vlog a few days in my life, so it'll be up um, long before this because I'm so behind. <laughs> but yeah. We are going to go out for a little dinner. We're going to Famoso's, which is like an Italian restaurant. So I'm just wearing something a little casual, a little white shirt that I was wearing earlier, and then these like flowy, like a velvety pant. Very comfy cozy. They're actually just from Joe Fresh. And I might just put like some sandals on with them. So yeah, just have my like light makeup on. 
but we're gonna go for a dinner. Saturday. It's about 9.30. We just woke up a little bit ago. Um, I took a shower and Daniel's just outside with the doggos. Um, yeah, today is going to be a fun day. I uh, will make some breakfast here in a minute, take the dogs for a walk, and then I'm going to my friend Kelly's with my other friend Megan and she has a pool. So we're going to have a little pool day, soak up those like little days of summer. This is how Daniel watches the dogs. There's Joey like, let me in. Hey Jojo. And there's the label. But yeah, that's the plan for today. So I'll take you guys along. And then tonight I think we're just gonna like make dinner at home and like chill, nothing crazy. And then tomorrow Daniel and I are supposed to plan a little like day out in, but we have not even like about it so okay the lighting is not the best in here but this is the swimsuit that I'm going to be wearing today it's from Airy it's the high-waisted like crossover and if you can see but I just find like for me having big hips it's like super flattering um, and it's like a little bit cheeky in the back and then I just have this very simple black top It actually goes with it, but um, I took out the padding you can keep them in if you want But this is gonna be my swimsuit of the day. I'm gonna wear just like a little dress cover-up to be comfy But yeah, I'm excited to like go in the pool <laughs> It's about, I don't even know, I think like 9 o'clock or so. Um, I just got home at I think like 7.30. I hung out with Abel and Daniel a little bit, chatted, and took a hair washing shower because I was in chlorine today and my hair needed to be washed. And yeah, just like cleaned up, like put laundry away, got settled, and now I'm just going to chill. I'm going to watch like a little bit of YouTube. Maybe like some Netflix in bed. Um, oh, like cute. But yeah, today was so much fun. Um, it was so nice to catch up with my girlfriends. It was such a beautiful day in terms of weather. So we just like hung out in the pool all day long. They both have little kids, a two-year-old and an eight-month-old. So like, come on, you know? It was cuteness overload. And yeah, we just hung out for the day. I ended up actually on my way home because they live in Georgetown. Um, if you're familiar with the area, they're really close to the Toronto Premium Outlet. So I actually did stop by there because I wanted to go to Matinat and Kate Spade um, because they always have like really good deals. And I'm like, I love Kate Spade as well as Matinat. All my purses are Matinat. But Matinat for whatever reason was like permanently closed, which I had no idea. And Kate Spade had over an hour line, so I was just like not gonna wait in that. But I browsed in like a couple stores. I got something for Daniel from Lulu because they had a pop up outlet there. And yeah, then just made my way home. So, very fun day. Daniel and I are still planning to do something tomorrow, but unfortunately, it's supposed to rain all day. So, any like outdoor related thing we thought we would do, um, it's probably not gonna happen because that's not ideal with it raining so we were talking about like going for brunch in the morning maybe seeing like a daytime movie i don't know we just like want to do something fun and like out of the house so stay tuned it'll probably be a very like game time decision and then i think i said this at the beginning of the vlog but it is a long weekend so i'll be vlogging into monday um i'm not doing too much monday during the day um but from like three to five Daniel's um, 
it's Daniel's brother's birthday and my now sister-in-law is throwing a birthday party for him. So we're going there with the family to do a little barbecue outside and celebrate Andrew. So that'll be fun. But anyways, that is a little update for you guys. I just boiled some water. I'm going to have a peppermint tea chill and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, happy Sunday. We're not cute this morning because we just woke up, but my hair is nice and clean, so that is a win. But it is Sunday morning, it's around 9.30. We woke up maybe like an hour ago. I'm just sitting inside having a lemon water. Joey's about to bark. <laughs> Daniel's just being creepy. <laughs> And uh, yeah, today we're gonna maybe go for a brunch. We have to take the dogs for a walk. What else are we gonna do? Are we gonna go see a matinee? Yeah, maybe. Maybe see a movie? It is not raining right now, but it's like in the air. You can just tell. It's gonna rain all day. Anything for the vlog? Take care of yourselves. <laughs> to brunch, a little place called Pure and Simple. I'm very casual, just wearing this little sweater because it's like kind of cool outside. It's only like 17 or 18 right now. My hair is like a bit fluffy because the humidity outside, but also I just washed it. So I'm waiting to do it tomorrow for the birthday. So it is what it is. I'm just wearing this like plain little black tank. I'm wearing the um, Wonder, no wait, what are they called? Wonder Trainers, I don't know, from Lululemon. And I just have my platform Converse. Cute. And Daniel is all in Lululemon. From breakfast, I'm just making a little coffee because I, fun fact about me is, let's start here. I'm not the type of person who likes coffee at restaurants, so, oh, and it's doing the recycle. Yeah, so I like to make my coffee at home, but I wanted to show you guys. We are drying out our, my bouquet, and everything from the wedding and a couple of like bridesmaids bouquets so like everything's like starting to dry out and they're so pretty but yeah so basically the technique for this is that you just grab like a hanger we just use like the ribbon that's like part of the bouquet you tie it a bit tighter and then you just like let it dry for like honestly a few weeks but yeah, I'm excited because then we can keep them forever and store them. And these are the little boutonnieres. Like how freaking cute. It's so pretty. It's not really focusing, but yeah, so give you guys a better look. Super cute. I loved our florist, but anyways. That is a little update. I think we're going to either look and see if we can watch a movie here or, yeah, say hello. Or we might go to a movie, but we're undecided. The weather is, like, kind of gloomy, so it's just, like, giving us that, like, cozy, sleepy vibe. So, we'll see. Good morning. Happy holiday Monday. If you're celebrating the Labor Day long weekend. Um, yeah, it's about a little after nine right now. I got up maybe like an hour ago, but I've just been like hanging out in bed, looking on my phone, doing bad things. <laughs> so 
that sounded bad. Doing bad things in the sense that normally I don't look at my phone first thing in the morning. I like to do like my full morning routine and give myself like an hour before I go on my phone, but I don't know. With the holiday, all the routines go out the window. But anyways, it's Monday. I'm just boiling some water to have my lemon water because it's non-negotiable. You're new around here. Just let evil outside. Daniel left this morning to go golfing with his brother because it's his brother's birthday today. It's also my mom's birthday today, but she's in Vancouver with my dad. And yeah, so today on the agenda, I'm going to get up. Or, wait, I'm still waking up. I got up. I'm going to take Abel for a walk here in a bit. If my sister gets up, I'll probably we'll probably go together with the two dogs and then have some breakfast, have my morning lemon water, and then we're cleaning out the fridge. Actually, we have two fridges. We're cleaning out both fridges because since like the wedding, since like so many people living here, since like all of the above, it has just been like jam packed with so much stuff and being that we're like different people living here, so for example, like Daniel and I as a pair, Sophia, and then my sister Paige, and then my mom was here too. We all like eat differently. Like my sister is a, my youngest sister is a pescatarian. My other sister Sophia is like very, very picky. And then Daniel and I eat differently. Like we have a wider palate. And because of that, it's like we all buy our own things, like our own condiments, our own whatever, and the fridge just gets like jam-packed with so much stuff, and we have a lot of like duplicates, and like, I don't know, it's like not a good system. So we're trying to get into the flow of it. But with that being said, the fridge is just like jam-packed, and it needs to be cleaned out, especially since the wedding and like hosting and having people be here and stuff, you buy, you know, bigger, bulkier things. So anyways, you're probably like, cool, <laughs> no one cares. But yeah, the plan today, this morning, is to clean out the fridge, like, really well. And then um, I'm going to get ready because we are going to Daniel's brother's at, um, like, 3-ish because his wife, Kate, is hosting a little, like, birthday barbecue for him. So we're going to go to that. And then, honestly, just, like, chill for the rest of the day, get ready for the week. Um because it's the end of the long weekend. Right, Abel? <laughs> and that is my little morning update for you guys. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, we're having my go-to breakfast, eggs on toast, and the seven grain salad from, oh. <laughs> seven grain salad from Costco. If you know, you know. Okay, this is the state of the fridge. This is an accumulation of 900 people living here, hosting a wedding, all of the things. So now we're gonna pull everything out and organize it. And we're gonna make space in the fridge downstairs as well and like put the main stuff up here. Ow, Abel. Sir. Sir. Okay, we're gonna put the main stuff up here and then the stuff we don't use as much downstairs. And yeah, so that's the plan for today. Get some organization. We have a bunch of like clear bins and stuff. So that will be the plan and it'll be so nice. Okay, we've now emptied out the fridge. So now we're just like cleaning everything and let the organization begin. All right, this is the final product tons of space so we got cheeses meats just some like salads potatoes i mean cookie dough you need it this is just the traditional veggies we have tons of peppers so they're in their own little area some fruits leftovers these are like the tall daniel open too that's his fault oh <laughs> Um, some tall items, but tons of space. Feels good. Okay, I'm like a hummus express because it is currently 2.32. <laughs> and we have to leave in 10 minutes for Daniel's brother's house for his birthday. But I'm making a little Greek salad. Um, so I'm just doing lettuce, cucumber, red onion, 
um, peppers. I'll add some feta and the dressing later, but just a super simple salad for a barbecue. Okay, quick OOTD. Just wearing this like open sweater, black jeans, and then my Converse. And really make up. So we gotta go. Okay, we are back from Daniel's brother's house. We just had a little birthday barbecue. Some cake with family. I obviously didn't vlog because I'm with all the family. But yeah, we are back home now. It's about like quarter after seven. So I'm just gonna like shower, take off my makeup, get ready for bed, make a cup of tea, and just like unwind for the night, get ready for the work week. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video here. Um, Cause yeah, I'm not doing too much else for the night. Oh, hold on. Joy wants to come out. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it just cause I'm not doing too much and I'm just gonna chill but yeah I hope you enjoyed I'm really like having a good time with vlogging I think like one thing I told myself is like I want to be able to have like a passion project and something that I'm just doing that has nothing to do with like work or like making money or nothing like with strategy behind it like I just want to have an outlet that feels creative and feels good to me and I really feel like I've gotten in the groove with YouTube where I'm just having like a really good time like documenting and sharing my life and chatting with you guys and just sharing tons about like health, wellness, lifestyle, like all the things that I'm into right now. So yeah, I'm just having like a good time and I love that it's like a little outlet for me. So, right Joey? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope that you guys are enjoying the vlogs. Let me know down below like what kind of videos you guys like watching, like what you want to see more of, if you do want to see more of anything. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.